Hi my name is Steve I will guide you in this tutorial to tell you if you need to replace your rubber cup and how to do it. First of all, let's see what the rubber cup is for on a keyboard. The rubber cup is a small rubber spring that dampens the movement of the key and to ensure the comings and goings. But also communicate to the electronic circuit of your keyboard that you press the key or that you just release it. This information is transmitted to the keyboard through a contactor, a kind of switch, that is on the keyboard and under the rubber cup. Now in which case use the rubber cup. It is necessary to replace your rubber cup, only if it is torn, or lost. Indeed if your rubber cup is in good condition, you must not replace it. You must first make sure the switch is working properly. For this press your rubber cup with your finger or the tip of a pen. And check on your computer screen that the function of the key is working. If this is not the case, your keyboard probably has an electronic problem, so you should maybe replace the full keyboard. However, you can check that the problem is not caused by dust that could obstruct the switch. And try cleaning with a brush or cotton swab. Let's go back to the installation of the rubber cup. You must first remove the old rubber cup without damaging the switch. You can help yourself with a cutter. It is necessary to cut at the base of the rubber cup. Once this is done, check that everything is clean on the keyboard and redo a test of the switch to check that it is still working. The new rubber cup that you have received from us can come in two way. With a plastic base that comes from the original keyboard. Or without plastic base, only the rubber spring. We will see how to use it in these two cases. If you received the rubber cup with a base, you can if you want to remove this base with a cutter for example. Let's go. Let's start with the rubber cup with a base. Place several dots of glue under the base, you can help with a sewing needle to avoid putting too much glue. Then fix the rubber cup on the keyboard at the switch like this. Now the rubber cup without base. Put under the edges of the rubber cup several small dots of glue. Then fix the rubber cup on the keyboard at the switch, like this. Before installing the key, retest the switch to check that the rubber cup is working. This tutorial is now complete. You can also check out our other videos for installing keyboard keys. And finally for all your keyboard key replacement requests, contact us directly on our website laptopkey-europe.com. See you soon.